everybody. I'll do this on camera so you can see what I'm actually making noise with. I'm chewing on a piece of gum, but I'm going to double down. Okay, today we have some brand new baseball. This stuff just came out. It is uh, Panini Chronicles. Um, just yet another Panini Baseball product. That probably is going to suck, but oh well, it's 20 bucks. Um, it says new find seven brands making their baseball debut. I don't know what the hell that even means. Um, talking about like the names of the subsets. I don't know. On card autographs from the scorching 2018 rookie class. Five cards per pack, four packs per box, plus a bonus three card revolution pack. And uh, these are the revolution cards here. Can't really. Yeah, there we go. Just a subset of some kind. Doesn't seem very interesting. Well, there's the checklist. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm mildly interested because it's something I've never opened before. So, always fun to do new things until you open them and realize they're garbage. And then they suck and you shouldn't have ever bought them. <laughs> Sorry, folks. I might be kind of negative from here on out. I will tell you, though, that I, um, I did, I was, uh, not out of the woods yet, but, uh, I resisted. Um, so fairly few packs here, I mean, $20 retail product, and you get four packs. So that's like five bucks a pack, which is what you'd expect to pay for, like, some hobby stuff. Um, but anyways, uh, a product that just came out today, um, it will have been probably three or four weeks since it came out when you see this, but, um, as I record this, a product that just came out today is, um, 2018 Topps Heritage, a high number, so that's kind of like an update set to the 2018 Heritage baseball set, um, and, you know, it's pretty, um, it's, I don't know, there's some decent cards in it, although, honestly, I don't know, I'm not that excited about any of them, um, but it's like, uh, I think there's supposed to be, like, autographs, um, autograph rookie cards of, um, Juan Soto, who's very, um, very good rookie right now, um, and then there's some other good rookies that have, um, like, autograph rookie cards in it, so I always get people excited, but... Um, that stuff came out, and like, normally I would definitely be buying a couple boxes to open, um, but I'm just like, man, every time I do this, I kind of get burned. Um, so why don't, I just, why don't I just not do that? So yeah, I don't know, those boxes were pre-selling for like 140 bucks on the major retailers, um, major online retailers. I was almost gonna buy like two boxes when they were about like 119 on eBay. And now I see they're as low as like 100 and, um, like 100 bucks shipped. Um, so, normally, you know, in past years, that product, when it came out, has been priced at maybe like 70 or 80 bucks a box. So, um, you know, and the wholesale prices are really the same for the most part over the years so really just prices have gone up on a lot of products and I don't know I just I'm getting kind of tired of it because I just buy so much stuff that I get absolute jack and so I'm just gonna you know buy some singles and hope for the best and I'll go open my 1991 top space ball cards alright so that's my story I'm at Rosario here with the Mets Oh, wow, speaking of Juan Soto, that's a pretty sweet card. Um, I don't know what, yeah, so that's like a regular Don Russ card. Oh, I see what's going on here. So, okay. So th 
this product is called Chronicles, but I don't know if there's any actual Chronicles cards in here. So this is Classics, which is definitely a brand that Don Russ, you know, used to put out. This is Don Russ is the brand there. So yeah, and there's Select. So this is like a grab bag of Panini branded stuff. So I kind of like it. I kind of like it, you guys. Now, I'm not sure if this Juan Soto, I don't, yeah, I opened a ton of um, 2018 Donruss, and this card definitely is not in there, I don't think, so, um, they must be making, like, new cards, you know, under the Donruss label in this Chronicles product, um, so, wow, that's a lot to keep track of, but, I don't know, I kind of like this, you guys, I kind of like this. Um, so there's Select, which of course is another Panini brand, and a good player, Chris Bryant. And there's Panini Prism, yet another product. Oh, and there's a Shohei Otani, um, I don't know what that S is, Status Baseball. So, yeah, I have to say, I really like this product. I might have to go buy more of this. Um, I just love the variety, I love the brands. Um, I love that you can get sort of a base card that doesn't exist in the primary set. And uh, it's hard to argue with getting a Shohei Otani um, and a Juan Soto rookie card in one pack. My goodness, that is a great start. So, um, very cool stuff, I think. Now I'm excited. a friend. 
Francisco Lindor. So pretty much like, I don't know, 80% of the cards in here are stars. And like 30% of them are really hot star rookies. So I got to think that the value of these cards is not going to be high. Because, and that's kind of how Donruss does it. They just put a lot of, really, a lot of, a lot of star cards in. You know, not really any commons. Everybody's like either a pretty dang good rookie or a superstar. And, um, you know, that makes it fun to open for sure, but it does make the value kind of low. So anyways, um, I, I think it's a really, it's a really cool looking set. I like all the, the brands that they do in there and, um, you know, it's fun to get lots of great rookies. So I would say definitely thumbs up. I would probably actually buy some more of that stuff. I'm kind of, I'm really interested to maybe learn a bit more about it. All right, here's our revolution. Looks like these are all like shiny refractory types. There's Clint Frazier, Clint Frazier good rookie um, for the Yankees, who unfortunately has not really played much this year because he's had like concussion um, symptoms for a long time and doesn't seem to be able to get over it. I really hope he does get over it over the off season though, because he was once like one of the top five prospects in all of baseball, and the Yankees have really had a hard time with their outfield this year because they've had so many injuries in the outfield, even though, you know, before the season started, they had just a million outfielders that were really good, but once the season started, the people just started getting injured, I mean, Clint Frazier got injured, um, I think actually before the season started, uh, Jacoby Ellsbury got injured, um, right now, Aaron Judge just came back, but he was on the DL for like two months, um, so man, it's been tough. So, pretty sweet um, Yankees rookie there. Cody Ballinger uh, and J.P. Crawford. So, not terribly good. Last year, it would have been nice to have this Cody Ballinger when he was doing great. But, so, yeah, I have to say, pretty sweet, pretty sweet product. Um, we did get a hit, and that's cool. That's kind of always nice, even if it's nobody. <laughs> 